Advanced Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operation Manufacturing. Let me share an agenda that I've put together here for you. For the first series of training, I'm just going to go through a mixed demo between the slides I've put together here for you as well as the demonstration. I'll show you where things are now in 365. First, we're going to go through understanding manufacturing. Of course, based on your experience, you're already familiar with some. I'm just going to go through the highlights. Then quickly, we go through setup and parameter overview, things that have been added, things have been changed, but not necessarily. We are going to treat this training as a functional consultation fully to go through every single parameter or every single setup. I rather do it a bit differently as I go through the demonstration in regard to the discrete, master planning, process, and lean manufacturing. The goal is to show you mixed mode scenario as well. As is needed, I explained exactly what field has been added and what field and what parameter performs what type of an operation for you. Another module that is now renamed, in my opinion, is manufacturing execution that used to know it as a shop floor control or now they call it production floor control. But manufacturing execution also allows you to not only use the thin client but also mobile devices in order to associate certain activities and the machinists or production manager or shop floor manager, they can actually access that portal and view things. We have lots of discussion in regard to the inventory management and I have some demonstration for you in regard to the warehouse management, which we know as advanced warehouse management. And I thought it would be beneficial to see a short demo in regard to transportation management as well, which is basically requires for advanced warehouse management to be set up first before you use the transportation management. Then we have some talk in regard to the 365 integrations. Then we switch the gear. We talk about some of the experiences and best practices, both from Microsoft's point of view and my point of view based on my experience. Based on my scenario, I like to combine discrete process lean and master planning together in order to come up with a scenario for your demonstration and learning practices. As a generic conversation, I just wanted to get us started by going through certain information in regard to manufacturing. Now in 365, Microsoft has invested a lot of features into the 365. We're going to get started by first understanding exactly what are the changes and what are the investment Microsoft has done. First of all, we have new customer experience using Power BI integrated dashboards that enhance the customer experience as you go through it. Based on a statistical data that Microsoft has put together, most companies are usually facing some challenges. They are not fully engaging with the customers based on the survey. As far as manufacturing and improving the connectivity by looking at the the enhancement in regard to the warehousing, labor, finding out the reducing the cost of waste, you can innovate faster and more efficiently. You could create certain business models that allows having your products to have a better cycle in regard to production and you make it as needed based on master planning. Can be indeed visualized using GAN chart that has been enhanced, using certain dashboards that are available and on top of it you have Power BI. All of these talks that I have, they are going to be demonstrated throughout my sessions in regard to mixed mode manufacturing, advanced topics in regard to the manufacturing. Anytime I refer to manufacturing, I am referring to the production control, which is a module and integration with other modules. Usually there are three types of manufacturing. Discrete manufacturing, which is basically consists of a bill of material and introduces certain raw materials that need to be put together based on a quantity and say exactly how much is going to be consumed, whereas being scrapped, and you can create a production order using Dynamics 365 for finance and operation. But there are some differences in regard to process manufacturing, whereas discrete manufacturing. Process manufacturing similarity would be pretty much using the same sets of legend to say exactly what the raw materials are and how you can make the final good. But the difference here is the original raw materials can never be revert back to the original estate. Example would be like oil processing, pharmaceutical, etc. So you're using a formula because based on the formula, you can say exactly other ingredients or other factors, or perhaps if you're heating up certain portion of the process manufacturing, like how much the temperature 
would be for this process. Therefore, both discrete and process manufacturing, they use a legend in regard to saying exactly what are the raw materials, the quantity, and how much would be wasted, etc. But like I said, discrete manufacturing is different because you probably, when I say probably, it really depends on what you're doing with the raw materials, you can disassemble it. But imagine this scenario. If you're making a desk, well, you have a surface, either plastic or wood or whatnot, you probably coat it with paint. And when you disassemble it, that is specific product which is a raw material when you disassemble it you have to introduce it as a new one but for discrete manufacturing you're already using a raw material that has already been processed using process manufacturing but you cannot ever revert it back to original state now both of these two discrete and process manufacturing as you're very well aware they go through a series of different processes and therefore you can group them this could be called as a route and of course i'm going to show you all this as part of a demonstration but each route consists of certain operations that can be chained together and each operation requires a resource and we're going to get into details of resources throughout my sessions things that need to be configured perhaps based on the time of a resource is it finite or infinite capacity we talk about capacity in other words we talk about the differences of associating certain resource and resource group and also capabilities of each resource so due to the skills certificate etc you are integrated with human resources so even though as part of my original discussion what would be covered minimally we talk about almost all of the related modules in Dynamics 365 for having a proper manufacturing environment. Lean manufacturing in general, it just tries to reduce the waste, improve the efficiency and profitability without sacrificing the entire operation. The goal of this specific training that I put together here for you is a combination of understanding and demonstration how to deal with the discrete manufacturing, process manufacturing and lean manufacturing. And at the very end of my session, I have a demonstration in regard to having a hybrid environment or mixed mode environment that you have a final good that the portion of it would be perhaps processed and the portion of it would be probably produced by lean and then you put them together as a discrete and you sell it out and as part of our discussion as I said we don't want to necessarily waste so much time to set things up on one legal entity we are using existing demo data I'm switching here to dynamics environment I like to introduce certain legal entities USMF is designed for discrete and lean manufacturing as part of the demo data in regard to process manufacturing USPI as one example which is usually designed for typical process manufacturing for food industries etc but usually Microsoft has added a brand new legal entity specifically for liquid or paint or chemical and juice industries so you have three legal entities to work with after you hear me obviously on your own time all of the demos and experiences that I'm going to show you you probably can do it depending on which area is of your interest USMF USP2 and USP SPI, there are three of them, Contoso for orange juice, as I said, and then process industry as generic, and then you have discrete and lean manufacturing. As far as the mixed mode, 